Hello, everybody. Welcome to the White House and give it up for the world champion, Cleveland Cavaliers. That's right, I said world champion and Cleveland in the same sentence. That, that's what we're talking about when we talk about hope and change. Uh, we've got a lot of big Cavs fans here in the house, in, including Ohio's governor, John Kasich, and his daughters, Emma and Reese. We got some outstanding members of Congress that are here, and obviously we want to recognize uh, Cavs owner, Dan Gilbert, who put so much uh, of himself into trying to make sure this thing worked. One of the great general managers of the game, David Griffin. And the pride and joy of Mexico, Missouri, <laughs> Coach Tyron Liu. Uh, I also, before I go any further, want to give a special thanks to J.R. Smith's shirt for showing up. I wasn't sure if it was going to make an appearance today. I'm glad you came. You're, you're a very nice shirt. Uh, last season, the Cavs were the favorites in the East all along, but the road was anything but stable. Uh, and I'm not even talking about what happened on the court. Uh, there were rumors about who was getting along with who and why somebody went in a picture and LeBron's tweeting and, uh, you know, this was all big news. Uh, but somehow Coach Lou comes in and everything starts getting a little smoother. Uh, and they hit their stride in the playoffs. Yeah, everybody can sit down. I'll be here for a while. <laughs> they, start winning, they, they, they start winning their first 10 games in the playoffs setting record after record for three-point shooting. Uh, but obviously, what this all comes down to is a team that for the first time in NBA history comes back from being down 3-1 in the finals. The first team in history to dig themselves out of a hole like that. And I should add that by knocking off the Warriors, they cemented the 1996 Bulls as the greatest team of all time. <laughs> so your president thanks you for that. <laughs> now, I know. That's funny, isn't it? Yes, it is. See, everybody's happy when, when their team wins. The, the comeback was remarkable. And you learn about people when they're down uh, against a historically good Warriors team. Cavs won games five and six by uh, by double digits. Uh, you had both LeBron James and Kyrie Irving become, becoming the first duo ever to score 40 points apiece in a finals game. And then, in game seven, the Cavs fall behind on the road only to fight back and lock up the title with an unbelievable two minutes. Uh, there was the block, what LeBron has said was the defining play of his career. The shot by Kyrie, putting the Cavs up five. The stop by Kevin Love. Boy, I mean, Kevin was moving. I hadn't seen defense like that. But it wasn't just those outstanding players, not, not then and not throughout the year, because this was always a team effort. JR always seemed to hit uh, those shots, you know, no, no, don't shoot that. And then it goes in, and <laughs> man, that was a great shot. You got uh, Tristan Thompson, uh, who has as great of a motor as anybody, uh, and put in extra work to teach himself how to shoot free throws with the wrong hand. I should have tried that uh, with some, uh, some bill signings around here. Uh, you got Channing Frye, uh, 
who came in uh, right over the tra training deadline and, and changed the tone of the locker room and, 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 and his sharp shooting. Richard Jefferson, Dante Jones, uh, providing leadership and giving inspiration to all of us old people that, you know, you can still do something uh, at that age. Iman Shumpert, uh, playing not only great defense uh, and, and scoring, but also uh, delivered his wife's baby in the bathtub <laughs> using a pair of headphones to tie off the umbilical cord. Now that's something right there. That's, that, that was an all-star move. Got the MacGyver flat top, which we miss. Um, And of course, uh, there's the guy LeBron calls the favorite player, his favorite player of all time, James Jones. The two are a package deal. Six straight finals appearances. Their ne names even go together. LeBron James Jones. <laughs> but, uh, the truth is, uh, LeBron wouldn't be uh, LeBron without his teammates. Kyrie, Kevin, Tristan, um, you know, Michelle's brother, who, who was a, a, an excellent basketball player, um, always says that you can learn a lot about somebody's character by the way they play basketball. And when you see LeBron James, uh, it is not just uh, his power and his speed and his vertical. Uh, it is his unselfishness. It is his work ethic. Uh, it is his insistence on always making the right play. Uh, it is uh, his determination, uh, all of which uh, makes him uh, one of the great players of all time. And you saw it in those last three games, put up some of the most staggering statistics uh, in finals history. He did it the year before, despite injuries, dragging uh, his team uh, along to, to make uh, a very competitive series. Uh, you saw it when this kid from Akron uh, broke down and fell to his knees when he realized that he had finally fulfilled a promise that he had made all those years ago and delivered that championship back to Northeast Ohio. Uh, so. So this is uh, a player and this is a team that knows what this title means to Cleveland. Uh, you know, this is a city that's throughout sports history been through a lot. The fumble, the drive, Jordan over Elo, a whole lot more. Uh, but through it all, Cleveland was always believe land. And that's why, and that's why the Cavs have always given back to their fans and the community that's been so loyal to them. Uh, over the last 22 years, they've given more than $23 million to local charities. And more than just the money, uh, players and coaches have made about 200 visits annually to schools, hospitals, food kitchens, and more, including assisting educational programs that reach more than 100,000 kids in Northeast Ohio. Uh, And these Cavs exemplify a growing generation of athletes that are using their platforms to speak out. You know, we've seen Kevin on combating campus sexual assault, LeBron on issues like gun violence and working with Michelle to help more kids go to school, go to college. Uh, his foundation is doing something incredible, paying college tuition for 1,100 kids from Akron. I should mention that uh, as we were walking out, Dan Gilbert has been unbelievable in the work he's been doing in Detroit, uh, his hometown, and giving back. And finally, earlier today, the Cavs met with Attorney General Loretta Lynch and my senior advisor, Valerie Jarrett, to discuss steps they're taking to help build understanding between law enforcement and the Cleveland community, part of a league-wide effort to build stronger communities all across the country. 
including holding open conversations so we can begin to bridge divides and diffuse tensions and see each other as one American family. It's really important work. Uh, it's one just, uh, just one of a number of recent efforts. We've been proud to partner with the NBA uh, during my time as president, from the league's support of My Brother's Keeper initiative to the mentoring initiatives to Michelle, uh, Michelle's Let's Move and Joining Forces efforts. Uh, the NBA has been a model for positive change. Uh, and the fact that it's not just a responsibility of government, it takes all of us, businesses, nonprofits, uh, athletes, role models, working together uh, to achieve the progress that we seek. So uh, I know that Cleveland could not be happier and prouder of having this trophy. But this was already a championship uh, group of guys uh, even before last year, and you should be very proud of them. Give it up for the world champs one last time. Right. Yeah, you want to say anything? Okay. You guys got anything to say? <laughs> Come on, Ted. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> so, from the 2016 World Champion Cleveland Cavaliers, we wanted to present this 16 this Obama jersey. I like this. Come on, guys. You got anything else? <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> now, the only thing is, though, I don't. These sleeves get tight. Can I turn these? Can, you can, rip them. Rip them. <laughs> can I rip them? You can rip them. Ron rips them. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'm joking. All right. The uh, well. Why don't we? Why don't we strike the podium here so we get a better picture? Team, come on up. See, I got a good team too.